So the left hand one was what we call your before swing. As we discussed, you had that kind of capital Y setup, okay? Club was kind of in the middle of you. Both hands were kind of coming in sort of underneath the, the sort of torso, yeah? Yeah. And then just having a weak left hand grip. And that created the club when it came back to impact being aiming to the right, yeah? So because the golf ball was going to spin to the right or go to the right, you try to figure out a way to stop doing that. So you went back here, okay, and now when you're at the golf ball, everything now is swinging oh, left. So your yeah. left foot's off. There's no weight distribution on that left foot at all no. because everything's on this foot because that's just you trying to hit it to the left, which is understandable because if you didn't do that, the ball would just keep going right a lot of times and you get very frustrated. So we're not going to fix that yet, okay? No. okay? We've got to fix the setup correctly. So what we're looking for, as a general guide, a lowercase y. Now you're going to do this in terms of the sequencing. Start off with the feet together and I want you to just get your left hand on the club first. So we can see that position now of your left hand grip. There's a little V there that your thumb and forefinger create. That will eventually, when you put both hands on the club, be pointed towards the right shoulder area, okay? If you think Oops, where you started. We'll say that yeah. again. So when you've got both hands on the club, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That little crease there going up towards your right shoulder. Could it go a little bit more over? Yeah, a little bit possibly. This little, over. this little, this little line here, yeah, a little crease of your thumb and foot there. Now that little gap there, yeah. that's going to be up. So if you turn that your needs hand, to come on this yeah, slightly to the right, and that's okay. the right shoulder. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. But look at the difference in that grip there. It's a little bit blurred there. If I, yeah, there you go. I get what you're saying. Look at the yeah. crease on there. You see the little line there between your thumb and forefinger. That's pointing towards your left shoulder. Yeah. So when you come back to the golf ball, if your left hand starts here oh, yeah, and then yeah, comes yeah. back to its pretty much natural hang, which you showed me a few times when you just sort of stood there holding a the golf club, the club face therefore will now be twisting to aim to the right. And that's what was giving your spin on the golf ball. Look at the last shot there, 2,999 side spin, yeah? So that ball is just going sideways on landing mm -hmm. and losing any kind of forward momentum, okay? So we've got to get yourself... Well, that's got to be a... We under, want that under a 1,000, really, if we can. Under a yeah. So your grip was when it was more in this position. I think the best one was like 400, 500 and something you got, to be fair. So we're looking for that lower case Y, but you're going to build the setup around this sequence of left hand first, get the straight line in there, okay? Shoulder, hand, and club. Just as a quick note, it's not a straight line vertically this way. There is going to be an angle, yeah? But it's still a straight line from there to there with the hands in line with it, yeah? You're not going to be rising the hands up, okay? Just to make sure was, you get some people sort of come and they've been working on my swing, guys. They're like, their arms are up here somewhere. So you still have your arms hanging down, but they are in a line yeah. as we look face on to you, okay? okay? So that's your sort of setup there with the left hand, okay? Right hand then sort of goes down the leg, and that's going to put a bit of a shoulder tilt now at setup so your right shoulder is going Could to be, that be more? no that's fine that's, that's fine because yeah, we're only doing that because your right hand's lower than your left hand isn't it yeah mm. so your right hand's only just beneath your left it's not as if it's sort of a hockey grip way down sort of this part of the club so it needs to be a little bit mm. but it'll help get yourself in a position where you're going to move your body more effectively when you think so once you're set up there now in a good start position we just swing normal yeah we don't try and affect the swing now we're focused on hitting the golf ball and all our attention is on the setup. Get the setup in a better position here now, okay? Then we swing. We're still gonna be on the back foot because that's something we're so used to doing, okay? But when we did this one, the ball went straight left because yeah, you had yeah. the correct grip and the correct setup for a straight shot. You then swung the club to fix your old fault with the ball slicing, okay? So what we're gonna try and see if you're playing on Friday with Fiona or you're up here on the, whatever it may be, we want to see the ball going straight, but going straight left. Because mm -hmm. that means then your grip is better, you're setting up in a more efficient way, and you're just swinging normally. Because yeah. normal at the moment now will involve you swinging the club to the left, because you have to. We've got to try and get in a situation where our setup is such that we don't need to do that. Okay? So if you can practice this setup and just, just drill it. There we go. Left arm in line there. Right hand slide. One, two, three, done. And then reset. Left arm, right hand, feet set. Start again and just keep doing this over and over again to the point where it just becomes natural, yeah? So you can, if I said to you in a month and I could sort of see you in the middle of the high street, here you go, Dan, just chuck a gold club your way, you go, Doo -doo -doo, and you go straight into that position, you'll know what a good setup looks like and feels yeah. like straight away. There yeah. won't be this, okay, my left hand's got to go there, what do I do now? Okay, right hand. <laughs> At the moment, no, when you're thinking about it, yeah. you've got to. I mean, in any sport we play, I mean, baseball, when you, got, when you get to the, the thing where you're, 
you, you batter the stuff. You walk in, then you sort of get your ground. You know where the all these sort of things. You just walk out there randomly. You say, okay, right, I'm gonna stand. I don't know. I'll just stand randomly somewhere. You're gonna get mm. yourself set up properly. Mm. And the beauty of playing golf is that ball ain't gonna move till you hit it. There's a little bit of time we can take just to get ourselves set up. Don't feel the need to rush the setup to try and get away quickly or speed at play. I'd rather you take five seconds longer every single shot and it less shots. <laughs> it's quicker. Mm. Yeah. So getting that setup dialed in more. Left hand on the club better. Right hand's going to come underneath because the shoulders, as we say, slightly tilted. And then you're setting up with your feet. And what you're looking for, and if you do it in front of a mirror, you're looking for that lowercase y. Whereas before, you had a capital Y. Yeah. Okay? okay. I to yeah, I totally agree. So that, that's yeah. just reflecting yeah. in front of a mirror and just and getting that position. When you're doing it at home, if there's a mirror in front of you, get the setup. See if you think you're okay and then look at the mirror and check. Don't be looking at the mirror to check all the time because if the mirror's not there, you think, well, I can't do it anymore, no? The mirror's just to give you the feedback, yes, I'm correct. It's not there to say, right, okay, yeah, I've got to do, yeah, there, there you go, yeah, check that, yeah, oh, good. Don't, don't no. do the setup. You, you do it, you do it here, boom, 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 I feel good, then look, yeah? Look once you feel you're in the right position because if you're yeah. just using the mirror to get yourself in the perfect spot, anyone would get there. And on the golf course, we can't really carry a big mirror. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and look what you're doing. Okay, so you've got to learn how to do it without the mirror helping you. The mirror is just giving you the feedback. Have I done it correctly? So do I look in this position on the right-hand side or have I gone back into my old position? Okay? Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent.